let me start with a story. Recently, one of my customers decided to go with a super cheap uh, hosting uh, option that, you guessed it, didn't offer any backups. And then the unthinkable happened, that is, the site crashed and poof, everything was gone. Just like that. If only they had backups, right? Now, today I'm going to show you a backup plugin that makes backups easy and lets you move your site fast without any headache. And not only that, it allows you to create staging sites and it allows you to do it with a couple of clicks without the need to mess with any subdomains or great databases. Well, let's jump right in. And the plugin we're going to use today is called Backup Migration, the one you see on the screen right now. As you see, currently it has more than 80,000 active installations, awesome ratings, and this plugin is mostly free. If we open up this questionnaire, is the backup creation and site migration free? Then you'll see that, yes, you can create full site backups and migrate your site free of charge. Although if you need more sophisticated filters and selections of files, then it's included in a pro version. And this one here is a pro version. As you see for non-commercial sites, it's $29 excluding taxes and if you open up the drop down you'll see all, all other prices here but these are the official prices but if you take a look at the description of this video then there is a nice 20 percent discount coupon for you just use a coupon and you're good to go but in this video i'm gonna use the free version so let's go to the plugins and search for backup lists this one here so let's install it now let's activate it I'm going to click on skip and now you'll see the backup migration menu down below here. So let's see what happens here. First, there is a be create backup now button or have backups created automatically. Let's click here so we can schedule when the backups will be taken. Whether it's every week, day or month, let's schedule it to be on every week on Mondays at 2 a.m. And I'm going to keep at least four backups. If I would like to deactivate it, then this is an off button. Here's an on button. Next, I'm going to choose what will be backed up. I'm going to choose plugins, teams. I'm not going to choose WordPress core files. I'm going to select uploads and everything else in WP content folder. If you hover here, you'll see all the information about this or that. I can exclude files by size. For example, if the file is bigger than 100 megabytes then skip it i can also exclude folders and by default you'll see all there are a bunch of stuff here those here are other known backup plugins so if you use those before then the backup folders for these will be skipped otherwise the backup file will be really big you can also exclude by path here and by directory path you can choose whether to backup databases. I would suggest you to do that. Whether to use smart exclusion rules. You can read about it here. Exclude spam comments and so on. Post revisions. And if everything is done, then save. Next, you can choose whether the backups will be stored. Free version allows you to backup only to your own server. And you can choose whether these backups are accessible via direct link. Use yes only if you're planning to migrate your site or share the backups, otherwise choose no. Since I'm going to migrate this site to the other subdomain, I'm going to choose yes at the moment. There are other options also here, but those are only for the pro version. So if you would like to store your backups in Google Drive or Amazon or Microsoft, then you need a pro version. Next one is how the backups are stored. You can set the file names, file types, encryption type. Under the other options, you can choose whether to receive the email notifications. I don't like the email notifications, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Next, backup triggers. For example, if we would like to trigger the backup before the plugin updates, and if we would like it to be triggered automatically, then you can activate this, but it's, as you see, it's a premium option. Next one, change functionality. Some other options here, but those mean you anything only if you're a bit techy person. If you're a beginner, then you can skip those here. So, let's save it, and now let's 
come up here. Let's create the backup now. And it says that based on your selections, 918 megabytes of data will be back up, backed up. So let's create the backup. You'll see the progress up here. And what I've noticed is that the plugin works really fast. I have used some other backup plugins and they, and sometimes they tend to be a bit slow, especially if the site is large. Now for this site, it took approximately a minute. So not too bad, which is pretty good. Now my backup is accessible from this URL here. Let's see how can we migrate this site. So I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to open up my other site. As you see, it's a blank site, nothing here. I'm going to add a plugin. I'm going to search for backup bliss. I'm going to install it and activate it. Let's skip this one. And now I'm going to click on manage and restore backups. I'm going to open up super quick migration and paste this URL here. Now I'm going to click on restore now button. It warns me that all existing folders, files and databases will be overwritten. Start restoring. As you see, it says downloading the file and you'll see the progress here. And once again, based on your site size and server configuration, it, it may take a bit time. It took approximately five minutes to download all the files and so it says restore successful. So I'm going to close that page. Now I have to log in with the username I used on the other site. And when this is done, and then you'll see this here. So let's verify whether the site works. And it does. Which means it took me approximately six minutes to migrate my site from one server to another. Now if you find this video helpful so far, then don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. What else you can do with the help of this plugin? You can create staging sites. Let's click on it and you'll have two options. Whether to create a staging site on your own server and your own domain, or you can do it on the TasteWP external server. What is a TasteWP? You open it up, you'll see that it allows you to create staging sites for free. And there is also a pro version which allows you to keep the sites for a bit longer. In one of my previous videos, I what you can do with it, for example, if I go to the WordPress plugin site, open it up, I have a TasteWP extension installed, this one here. It allows me to create a staging site directly from my browser, or I can create a staging site with this plugin installed. Since I have extension installed, I'm going to click on Create Now button. It takes a couple of seconds, and it's done. will redirect me to the admin panel and you'll see that SEO plugin is has been installed as easy as that and in a similar way I can create a staging site using the TasteWP server there is a limit up to one gigabyte of storage and you can keep the site for two days I already created a backup so let's create a staging site but be aware that you need to create the backup first so I'm going to click here and let's wait Staging site creation in process. You'll see that backup is uploaded to the TasteWP. And once again, based on your site size, it may take time. But for me, it took approximately 30 seconds or so. This is my URL. I'm going to visit the site. As you see, I'm going to be logged in. And, and everything I had on my local site, once again, take a look. This one here is now transferred here. If I open my site up, done. And now I can do whatever I would like to do here. And when it's done, and I can migrate my site back to my own server. Pay attention though that TasteWP holds your site. For me, it's two days. Other than that, it's awesome. And now one last thing. If you would not like to migrate your site or create a staging site, but you need to restore your site from backup, then come to the backup and restore menu. Now you can delete the backups. Or if you click here, then you can restore the backup. Pay attention that there is also a staging site button here. It does the same as this button up here. All in all, really easy to use and works like a charm. Wait, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here. And take a look at this side of the screen. 
It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.